Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you a brand new Mego! And this time it is... It is Q from Star Trek The Next Generation. So we want to say a great big thank you to... Mego! For sending him to us for free to share with you today to add to our Mego Star Trek collection. Yes. So this is from their sci-fi, uh, this is uh, ages 17 and up because it is a uh, collectible 8 inch action figure 14 point articulation Q. <laughs> You'll miss his name if you go too far. That's right. Um, so let's take a look at Q in box. There's his facial sculpt, um, his cool hat, and check out that necklace. Pretty fancy. He's got the red gloves and the buttons down there. Yeah, I think this is the uniform that we see, or like the, I guess, like judge's garb that we see um, Q in when we first meet him. Okay. Um, when he's judging the mankind, basically. I do think I remember this character. Um, and then um, there's a couple others you can get on the back. He is an official Miko. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get Q out of his box so we can give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and there's Q, standing up there, very, very judge-like. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, and I'm always <laughs> impressed with the, um, you know, the cloth um, yes. costumes for the Mego, but this kind of goes above and beyond, it's just all the little details. And yes, and he's really got this cool. little sash that um, comes over, it's actually stitched in place right here, and then has this fancy button up here, stitched in the back as well keep it held into place um, and he's got the big judge robe sleeves he does have red hands red arms <laughs> <laughs> um, because he's supposed to have on red gloves um, and there's his facial sculpt there's his awesome hat that looks like a kite on top almost um, and then his necklace or, or adornment here um, looks like it would actually come off if you wanted it to. Yeah. Um, so it's a, a separate piece. And then you have these really fancy little buttons, um, or, you know, it's supposed to look like buttons going up and down, um, from just pat to just past the waist. They look really cool with that suit. And like you said, um, there's quite a bit of detail on this, uh, actual, you know, and then there's like little pleats under here on the actual cloth robe so it's really cool that he does have where it is able to um, have like a cloth robe yeah so here's his boots up to his, yes, he does his have the red legs typical <laughs> trek boots that the other Star Trek characters yeah have. he's like I don't want to be left out all right so I'm gonna let you show off his articulation okay all right so he should have the same articulation that the normal uh, Amigo Star Trek figures will have. Um, so he has, uh, of course, neck articulation, um, shoulder, uh, let's see, the elbow, of course, the wrist will bend and uh, twist. It's rather tight because he's new, but um, let's see, he has waist articulation, um, of course. You lose a little modesty here, but he does have uh, hip articulation and, of course, uh, knee articulation. The only one, the only thing he's lacking that normal Migos would have is the uh, ankle, and that's because he has these special Star Trek boots that they all have. So, very cool. He does look good. All right, so there's our Q Migo from Star Trek: The Next Generation. We want to say a great big thank you, another great big thank you to Migo for sending him to us for free to share with you today. He is a really cool character to add to the Star Trek yes. collection. And then probably the first one with the hat. I don't yeah. know, usually they don't typically come with no, hats. No, 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 no. But I do really like his robe. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.